up Nia Nation? How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite president's panel. P to the E to the N to the I to the E to the L. And if it's the first time seeing my face, thank you so, so much for stopping by. Please do hit the subscribe button and join the family. You are in the right place, I promise you. And if you're a returning subscriber, ah, I love, love, love you from the bottom of my heart. I'm sure you guys already know that by now. I love you so much. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for joining the family. Thank you so, so much for all that you do. I really, really love you. And please, before we go into this video, if you have any content ideas that you want me to post for you, do let me know in the comment section below and I will see if I can do that for you, all right? So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into this video. any noise in the background or so there's a construction going on in my in my house so please bear with me but yeah i don't want to talk about this thing like it has been like something that has been giving me issues like i've been bothered i've been a bit worried about this thing so yeah if you're familiar with um if you use twitter nigeria and maybe you're in nigeria or wherever you are and just use twitter nigeria or you just could assess what's going on in nigeria i'm sure you would have been aware of the fact that lots of rape trends has been going on now I'm referring to this issue because it's very very heartbreaking and um, it's very very hurting to the heart that a lot of people are going through this pain. The likes of our dearest Farishina, may I so rest in peace and Owa, that experienced this torture, this trauma in a very 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 despicable manner. And don't get me wrong, everything that has to do with rape is very despicable, it's very, it's very very sad rape is not something that should be taken lightly you get me and first of all i want to say if you've ever been raped please speak up i know that the the, the topic rape comes with a lot of controversies in it you get because sometimes the victim is like yo if i talk about this will they believe me what what if the world doesn't believe me how about the stigma that comes with being raped like you'll be addressed as ah that girl that was raped you get I know that this whole thing is like it weighs down the people that have experienced this and then they're not able to talk because they are afraid of what people will say they're afraid of what the world would see them as it is high time that we come out to speak up now for my title i'm sure you're like what is this girl saying i really want to ha i really i've been having this thing pondering in my heart like i've been like what is the world turning into what are we doing like what exactly is the problem now the fact that someone has had sex or someone is no longer a virgin does it mean that person can be sexually molested does it mean that person shall, can be raped does it mean that person can just can just have any any anything to do with sex without the person's consent and the person not supposed to feel bad about it if you if you understand what i'm what i'm trying to say what i mean is that now the whole rape incident i've been going on the whole topic the whole scandal the whole bass ghost and the whole calling out of celebrities and everything that's been going on you guys the comments i've been seeing in this post is getting me so mad like how will somebody and what is even pissing me off the most is most of these comments come from females how why don't we support ourselves why are we that wicked to each other why are we hateful to each other somebody comes out to say oh i was raped oh i was sexually abused by this particular person maybe because the person is a celebrity i have emotional attachment towards this person you're not going to ask the person you shot you are raped after you be virgin but yeah, were you a virgin? I don't understand where that word is coming out from. Somebody that is being abused, somebody that is raped, rape is rape. Whether that person, whether the person in question is a virgin or not, I don't think virginity has anything to do with rape. As much as someone as a virgin will feel bad that the person was raped, you feel like oh, your pride has been taken away from you, your dignity has been taken away from you. You were, you didn't give this thing to the person you love and you would love loved to give it to. That is the same way someone that's not a virgin is going to feel when the person is being raped. First of all, you're forced into doing what you don't want to do. You think that the female body is is I don't know what you guys think the female body is really. It is as sacred as that of a virgin. Whether I'm a virgin or I'm not a virgin, it is doesn't give you any rights to have sex with me without my consent. And you're like, after all, you're a virgin. Tell me I should feel good because you're having your way with me and I'm without, without my consent. Is that what you are trying to say? I'm really, I really want to get my head around this. Guys are even saying, guys are going ahead to say, ah, that's why they talk. Ah, uh ah, -uh, she should be virgin. 
after no be she did they sleep with so i'm sorry i'm using i'm using um, um pigeon language here because i'm in nigeria and that is what we talk that's how we talk okay like they're like after john has had sex with you um peter has had sex with you why is my own difference your own dif your own is different because you're doing it without my consent you're doing it forcefully you're doing it guys like this thing is getting me so angry like i'm getting so mad now let me take let me uh, let me make an example with this let's say you have a boyfriend and um or maybe you're married yeah let me go to married people it's not all the time that as a married man you want to have sex with your husband there are different reasons why someone will not want to have sex with you maybe the person is emotionally traumatized maybe the person is going through one thing or the other that the person doesn't want to share or maybe the person is not even feeling fine and i don't want to have sex with you at that time then you forcefully have your way and you're telling me after all are you a virgin that's the topic that's that's the talk i want to you guys please leave your comments in the comment section and let me know if the the the, the fact that someone is not a virgin does it give the opposite sex the right to sexually abuse that person or the right to have sex with that person without their consent because i am not a virgin because you know one or two persons that have had sex with me then you must have sex with me as well without my consent i don't have the right to talk i don't have the right to come on social media and say oh this person had sex with me without my consent oh this person sexually assaulted me without my consent and then people in the comment section even females that's the one that's annoying me females in the comment section will come out and be saying you that is talking i should be virgin after it was not your first time are you that is madness in your brain like are you mad it's not my first time, so you should do it to me at all the times. Then why not just say, we may just be walking around and anybody should just be having their ways. Is that what you guys are trying to tell me? Y'all, the topic sex is, is a very sensitive topic. And I know that a lot of us, most persons, tend to shy away from it. I'm sure because of religious background and, and everything that comes with society and all of that. Because they feel like it's a taboo, which is not supposed to be so. Sex is something that God has made, has created for people. Everybody has the right to sex and this should be done with the person's consent. Now what is even getting me on that is pissing me off. The other day I saw a, I saw a video on Sunday at night. And this and they were interviewing a mother and her child. This woman was crying that her child was a child of four years, you guys. A four-year-old child was raped by her teacher, by her headmaster, or by their proprietor, I don't know what they call it, but the owner of the school thereabouts had sex with a four-year-old child. A four year old, please. My question is, what is this? What has this man seen in this girl? What did he see in the four year old child? I'm trying to wrap my head around it. When I was, I'm sure that when I was 14, 15, 16, I'm not sure I have I had features that people could look at. I'm a very petite person, even in real life. Like, I'm a petite person. Imagine when I was 10 years, imagine when I was 11, imagine when I was 12, 13, even at 14. Imagine me at that time. I was so small. I was a little child for crying out loud. Now, what would a man see in a girl of four year old, four years old? That girl was not was it's not like she was she wasn't probably dressed. And you people come to tell me that eh, men rape because you are called the way you appear, because you're not properly dressed. You are very stupid to tell me that. Because a four-year-old child that was raped, tell me how how improper that girl was dressed. Tell me the features of that girl that, that, that aroused this man. Tell me the features this girl had that aroused him into her sexually molesting her, into raping a child of four years old for crying out loud. And you tell me her mother was scared to keep her upset. We're not even going into that topic here. We're not going into that one. But you guys, the, the fact that somebody is not a virgin does not mean that everybody can have their way with this person. There's something called celibacy. I might not be a virgin today and say, okay, I want to be celibate. I do not want to have sex again till maybe I get married or till wherever, whatever time. That doesn't give you the right as a man, as a boy, as whatever you call yourself, the right to say, after all, you have had sex before, so I can do it with you. The one that's always pissing me off again is the people that have been seeing the celebrities, the so called celebrities that they've been having, they've been even seeing their posts, people coming to call them out. What somebody having the mind to say, I will rape you. It's like it's an achievement. It's, it's, it's a we should give you a trophy for that, right? If I ask you out, if you come to a club um, with something skimpy and I see it and I admire it and I tell you I want to ask you and you say no, I will rape you. You must be going, like, something must be wrong with your brain. Because somebody is appears the way you think is improper or the way it's not that is improper to you, that get, gives you the right. To, do you know what comes with rape? Do you, do you know that rape is something that has to do with 
your whole being your whole I, you guys i have a video here where i I, t I talked about being sexually harassed as a child i was just eight years old at that time i have that video so i'm gonna link it here you can go and watch that video i know how much that particular incident had impact in my life i know how i felt even i remember i could remember the very first time i ever said this thing to anybody i was cold i was scared i was i was I was grown already. I was already an adult when I was saying this to somebody, and I was scared. I could, I could, I could, I could still feel the grip. I could still feel my hands being held by this man. I could still feel everything that went on that day. Then talk more of somebody that was actually, actually raped. Somebody that was actually forced into doing this without the person's consent. Somebody that was bit, bitten. Somebody that was bitten. Somebody that was dragged. Somebody that was. That sometimes even they go out to choke you while doing this with the person Owa and Far um, Farishina and all of them to mention about a few, a lot of them have not been able to come out and talk and say their own piece you know what that thing has taken away from them and then you tell me because I'm not a virgin then I don't have a right to feel bad it must be, as in something must be really really wrong with you you really 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 need sanitization you need to be, you need a rehab in fact that I'm, I'm not supposed to feel bad because I have to, even even you even feel bad when you're when you're having sex with your husband or somebody that without your consent maybe you're not feeling fine. You know how annoying you get, or how annoyed you get. Talk more of somebody I don't know from anywhere. Maybe I just met it for the first time and then you want to have sex with me. I told me sorry, I don't know. I don't. I'm not interested. Or I do not want for several reasons best known to me. Then you feel like because after you because maybe you know who I've dated or you know people I've been around with. Then you think you have the right to like sexually to have your to have to have to have your way guys i want to say this thing to you guys you guys listen i don't know if our parents have not brought us well has not brought us up the right way when a woman says no no is no whether you are whether you know the whether you know hundreds of guys she has been having sex with whether you know she has had sex with your brother if i tell you no my no is my no you should be able to respect a woman to the point where she tells you no i'm not interested and allow it you're having pleasure and i'm not having pleasure how is that how is it making any sense sex supposed to be something pleasurable pleasurable for the both parties they're supposed to enjoy it and i enjoy it i'm not supposed to be crying while you're enjoying it are you a beast in fact you are a beast guys please sex should be consensual it should be something that the both parties are, are really are really eager to do. The both of you have the consent of each other. And it goes vice versa. So people are even saying, I know guys are coming in my comments in my on my WhatsApp and say after they actually rape guys too. Yes, I'm saying this both for guys and for girls. I know girls still rape guys. It is not something that should be done. It should, should be done forcefully. The both of you have to like have an agreement. I say, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to do this, and then you're no, you're no, you know it for a fact that it is something that you want to do. I mean, all pleasure, I'll give it to you. Both the male, both the female, it should be done. Both male and female, females are not supposed to harass the male. Male are not supposed to harass the female. Guys, I think I'm ranting already, and I, I know that I'm just, I'm just, I've had it, I've had it up here with this whole thing, like. Right now, I don't want to put my social media and platforms because I don't see things that just get me annoyed. Guys are coming out now to say, okay, I was sexually abused or I was harassed by a fellow man, I was sexually abused by a woman and all of that, and we think it's, it's good. This is so improper. You guys, please help me leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about having sex consensually or being forced into it whether you are a virgin or not a virgin should that be a reason to have sex like with me not being a virgin for example should it be enough reason for a man to force me into having sex with him you guys i'm, I'm i think i'm just i'm gonna stop this here because if i keep on talking I'll, I'll keep repeating myself and i'll just keep getting annoyed okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video please leave your comments in the comment section if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend. Watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. You guys, please check on the end screen and the cards that will come up here. Just click on those videos and um, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye.